So today I wanted to talk about how we quantitate or semi-quantitate morphologic change in uh, kidney biopsies and um, just some basic assessment. Um, using two stains, hematoxylin and eosin and PAS. So uh, this is a case of acute on chronic interstitial nephritis with evidence for uh, allergic interstitial reaction. <clears throat> so if we go up to the screen here, you can see by the arrow, the arrow is uh, pretty much on top of an eosinophil. And as we move around there, so now, see there are a lot of cells of that type. They have a bilobed nucleus and uh, eosinophilic granules, bright red granules. And in this inflammatory infiltrate, there are a lot of cells like that. Um, see the cells with the bright red granules in the cytoplasm and bilobed nuclei. Now when, when we go back then to lower power and assess it overall, the question is what is the overall damage here? Both at the glomerular level and at the tubular interstitial level. So Okay, we're, we're going to go back now to a lower power. And we can start to see, so that's that. So this is a medullary inflammatory infiltrate. Um, with two pieces of tissue here. The other is completely medulla. It's medulla and then corticomedullary junction with an artery and then medulla again. And it's completely uninflamed. So this is a pretty uninformative piece of tissue. Whereas this one is uh, the one that we started with and much more interesting. So there's that, that inflammatory infiltrate we were looking at before. It is in the medulla. And there you see it at lower power. I'm now going to go up this core of tissue. And so here we're at corticomedullary junction. And then there are four glomeruli above here. Um, and you can see that the interstitium is scarred, but on this stain, it's really hard to kind of figure out um, exactly how much of the interstitium is scarred. I mean, in your mind, you can't see a demarcation between the scarred area of the cortex here and the unscarred. So these are the glomeruli. OK, so now we're going to go to PAS and look at that same core again. Okay, so now we've got much more detail. So here is the medullary area with the medullary inflammatory infiltrate and going up to cortex. Now at this level there are five glomeruli, one, two, three, four, five, and this one is completely sclerotic. So at the glomerular level, there is 20% glomerulosclerosis. But at the tubular interstitial level, when you're thinking about how much scarring there is, it's about 50%. Now, for instance, here, at this area, every single tubule is atrophic. Let's just go up a little higher here. 
So the atrophic tubules have thickened basement membranes and um, are, are really stand out as uh, like, like um, drawn with a very thick crayon or something. Whereas the non-atrophic tubules look like that. But you can see at just about every level, there, there, there are lots of atrophic tubules to see. So here, these are non-atrophic, these are atrophic. So at that level, it's about 50-50. Here, it's getting more like 80%. Um, see, all these are atrophic, and these are not atrophic. So if, if we then go back to a lower power and try to assess it overall, overall it, it's about 50% of the cortical parenchyma that is scarred and 20% and glomerulosclerosis. So that probably means that the glomerular scarring is due to age and other secondary effects. It's not the primary process. The primary process is this tubulo interstitial pro process, which um, is a both, both acute and chronic. So the, the infiltrate in the medulla that I, that I showed you first it, it is acute. And then in the cortex, it is largely chronic and associated with scarring and tubular atrophy. So that's a little bit about how you assess semi-quantitation, and that's it.